So, Michael Keaton is back as Batman. That's right, people. Apparently, there's a Flashpoint movie. So, yeah, it's, it's obvious that DC listened to me in my video about how they should just do the multiverse. Nah, but seriously, apparently the multiverse is happening because it's going to be the only way to kind of save DC in the cinematic space. And I think things like Into the Spider-Verse that played with the idea of multiple Spider-Men existing in as multiple universes and all of that thing kind of normalized that whole thing. So yeah, this news does not really shock me. I think what shocks me is that it's going to be Keaton coming back as Batman. Um, yeah, I can see it. I can see it. I mean, I watched the 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 bat the the, the Batman movie. I forget I forget what year it is. I don't know if it was 1970. I I I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the I'm not sure what the year was with uh, when the Michael when the Michael Keaton Batman came out. But I mean, it was not bad. You know, there was that whole you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Yeah, so that was a fun thing to watch, and then um, he went full-on murderer. <laughs> yeah, so Batman killing cinematically is not something new. Uh, he was just tossing people in. He was just tossing people with bombs, and I mean, it was, it was crazy. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I I see this. Um, I guess he's gonna bulk up. I guess it's a different era. I don't know if Michael Keaton's gonna have to deal with that thing with that now he's gotta be yoked <laughs> and he's gotta be 6'5 and, and all of this and he's gotta be because now I mean nowadays every every Batman is having a workout controversy of some kind <laughs> so I don't know if he's gonna have to deal with that I don't think he'll have to deal with that personally and we'll have to see how it goes because Flashpoint Batman it's a very tragic story he's more of a he's, he's definitely a killer like he, he kills a lot of the, the bad guys in his universe and all of that stuff. Uh, yeah, there's just a lot of questions that have to be asked when um, this whole thing is going to go down. Like, are they going to do the whole Martha Kent being the Joker and who are they going to cost for that and are we going to see a female Joker and is it just going to be for the duration of that movie and then it's going to be done? Are they going to do that whole sequence where Bruce gets shot when it's not the parents that get shot and all of that stuff? How are they going to do that? And is it going to lead into something else? Is Ezra Miller still going to be running around with the Flash? That's a big one. Because uh, I don't know if you guys know, but um, yeah, apparently it, it, he, he's in some hot water right now. I'm just saying he was he, he he went straight he was trying to go straight you know choke a choke choke a woman you know what I'm saying I'm not gonna say the b word because I'm trying not to cuss because I'm trying to get monetized <laughs> but yeah you can look that up for yourself but yeah there's a lot of things that are just it's it's a lot of questions going on and I don't know how those questions are gonna be answered but hey so what are you guys thinking are you guys excited about this news are you guys excited about Michael Keaton coming back as Batman for a flashpoint flash as is, is it a flashpoint movie is it a flash flashpoint I wonder how they're gonna title this whole thing but yeah let me know if you guys are excited about all of that stuff I mean personally uh, I'm I'm here or there I can see it one way or the other and it's definitely a way for them to keep the Rob Pattinson Batman's going and to keep the Snyder's universe going to keep the Snyderverse going if that's still going to be a thing so if Ben Affleck ever wants to jump back in we now have multiple universes and stuff so it's not going to be really confusing for anybody I mean it'll be a little bit confusing for the casual fans but do not worry the nerds will explain it oh my god the nerds will write dissertations on the different universes of especially the DC the DC fan base oh the DC that is some dedicated ride or die people right there they do, yo, I gotta give it up to you guys for loyalty. My God. 6 9 would have never been able to <laughs> betray Batman fans and get away with it. <laughs> like, the blood trays have nothing on Batman fans. 6 9 would have never gotten, if, if, if there was a Batman gang of Batman fans, 6 9 would have gotten cut. 6 9 would have gotten touched if he messed with Batman fans. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now, boy. Look at that, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I got another one up here. I got a playlist down there and you can click on my icon to subscribe. Remember to ring the bell if you do subscribe and I'll see you all in another video because my smell's gotta be out. Push.